Good morning, good morning. Happy Wednesday. No, it's Thursday. <gasps> yes, it's Thursday. I need to go get put my trash to the road. But yeah, it is Thursday. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, I did not vlog yesterday. <laughs> uh, but today is the first day I'll be dropping my um 12 days of Vlogmas vlog today. Um, because I was looking, I was like it was 12 days of Christmas yesterday, but I'm not doing 12 days of Christmas. I'm doing... No, I'm not doing 12 days until Christmas. I'm doing 12 days of Vlogmas. Because I was about to drop my vlog yesterday. I was like, no. If I dropped my vlog yesterday, I would have been doing 13 days. I'm doing 12 days. My I will vlog on... I mean, I will drop a vlog on actual Christmas Day. But, um, but yeah, I, you guys see, I changed my nails out. Um, Because those other ones... I. I'm gonna see with these because I don't know if it's different brands or what. Because like I never really noticed when I got my Kiss nails, the polish coming off. But these are Kiss nails. I was just in Dollar General yesterday and I was just going to get some nail glue. And then I saw these little short red nails because I love short nails. And um, so I got these and I love them. And my hand look old as hell. But look, speaking of that, and my hands are ashy too. But speaking of that, <laughs> okay. Some people may agree, some people may not agree, and that's fine, right? But when it comes to, because you know, the whole saying, black don't crack. I've been saying for the longest, some black don't crack. Because I have seen black that have cracked, and I have seen black that has swelled, you know? So, it all depends on the black, what your outcome would be. Then, I feel like, when people say, oh, I'm aging gracefully, right? For me, aging gracefully is when you you didn't do any alterations to your, your face. You know, no injections nowhere on your face. Um, I mean, people, some people do their lips, that's fine. But I'm talking about like your, 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 your eye ducts, your chick, all your forehead, your, all that, that's what I'm talking about. When you say, oh, get your face tight and all that stuff. To me, that is not aging gracefully. That is aging with work being done, right? And hey, and there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. But I feel like when you say someone look, because you be like, somebody could be 80. Oh, she look good for her age, right? To me, being 80 and looking good or 70, 60, whatever, 50, 40 whatever looking good for your age is when you are aging yourself and meaning the way your face look is the way that you took care of your face your body the things that you intake the your 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 skincare routine all that stuff and you look good that to me is aging gracefully but when you got work done you just got you just paid a good um your doctor you know what i'm saying like so to me that's it's not the same now don't get me wrong you may still look good but you don't go on the lines of aging gracefully because aging gracefully is you are allowing whatever is going on with your body to happen on its own and not try to fix a thing. That's aging gracefully to me. That's my opinion. Comment down below and let me know your opinion on it. But that's how I feel about aging gracefully. But baby, I don't care how good your skincare routine is. I don't care how good of um, a dollar you paid them, sir. Those are uh, doctors. Uh, these hands. If you want to know how old somebody is, look at their hands. Because the first thing we look at is their face. And yeah, your face can be young, but them hands look 72, okay? You know what I'm saying? So that's how you'll really know <laughs> how somebody, <laughs> really how, how old somebody is by their hands. Because baby, my hands be looking real old. But this face, oh baby, I am aging gracefully. Like I don't get my age ever, you know, unless somebody trying to be cute, you know. But other than that, I never get like my age so and if I did I'm fine with that I don't care it's just that age and gracefully being tagged on people who have gotten procedures done now but I am oh I this morning like and Peyton know if she ever want Chick-fil-a in the morning um what y'all doing 
if she ever went Chick-fil-A in the morning, she had to hurry up and we gotta be at the house by a certain time. And oh, when Chick-fil-A is mentioned, sis be moving. So she's at school real early. It is it is seven, I think I dropped her off at like 7.30 something. Cause it is now 7.44. So I'm excited about that. I have a little bit of time before I um, log into work. Cause I'm probably gonna log in a little bit early. But, um, but yeah, so we're doing good this morning and I'm happy about it. And now, um, I'm probably going to see if I can cook me some breakfast real quick because the brioche bread with, uh, I'm making it as French toast has me in a choke hole. So yeah, I'm probably about to make me some breakfast. So I'm going to talk to y'all later. I just realized I never introduced my channel. Welcome or welcome back to All Things Tamisha. My name is Tamisha. And if you are new here, please, please, please consider subscribing. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back and watching my videos. But yeah, I'm about to go in the house and probably about to make me some breakfast. So I'll pick y'all back up later. I totally forgot today was trash day. Well, not really, but really. <laughs> Okay, so I'm back in from doing the trash because I was about to come in, wash my hands and start making breakfast. I was like, oh, I didn't put the trash to the road. Because I usually don't, since like time change, I usually put the trash to the road in the morning. It gets dark early, so I put it to the road Thursday morning because they don't come early anyway. Because I think last time, they didn't come until about 11. So anyway, but I just put it to the road and now I'm about to, um, because I dumped out my old grease like I was telling you before, I needed to dump it out because I um, fried that fish in there. So I'm about to put that um, my deep fryer back over in the corner and put some oil in there. Because the one time, this is like last year, I think, I cleaned out my um, cleaned out my um, my deep fryer or whatever. And I just put it back where it belongs in the corner. And usually when I use it, I'll just, oh, my hands are so ashy. I'll just use, I mean, I'll just plug it up and wait until the grease warm up. But baby, I did that one time and when there was no grease in there and I think I like burned it out or something because it didn't work, I had to get a new one. So now I would put oil in there and just let it sit there until I want to use it. Because I was like, oh God. I mean, I had it for a little minute, maybe almost a year I had it. But anyway, um, I'm about to do that. Then I'm gonna cook my breakfast. And another thing, it was something else I was gonna say. Um, Oh my goodness. What was that? Oh, I dropped a haul today. Um, I hope you guys checked it out. Um, well, it'll already be out by the time you see this vlog, but I hope you check it out. It's my first sponsorship video, and I'm so excited about that. It's a company called Rosebee. I'm not sure if you guys ever heard about it. Or if you have, you know, comment down below and let me know if you've ordered from them before. Because the pieces I got, I really, really um, like them. I could definitely see me incorporated in my wardrobe. But, um, but yeah, let me know if you, um, if you ever shopped there before or you know anyone who ever um, shopped there before. But, yeah, let me stop talking because you know I can talk. Um, and then I'm going to get this breakfast rolling because I'm hungry. So guys, I, I haven't gone and um I haven't made breakfast yet because I was about to make breakfast. But then I was like, oh, let me come upstairs and check my computer and see what my workload looking like. I logged in and I looked at my queue like, who this for? So I had to tackle that, but it's down now. I'm about to go downstairs in a minute and um make my breakfast. But I, I was meaning, this is so old. Like, this thing got some dust on it. I know I had it for about almost four years because I got it. Oh, y'all see the dust, child? Um, I got this. I knew when we, like, first moved into this house. And it must be four years. But it's one of these, like, because I thought it was so cute. I saw it on something like Instagram. But I can, like, um, look up one on Amazon that is probably, like, the cheapest one I see or whatever to tag it. But 
I mean, to put the link so you guys can purchase one like it. But um, it's one of the little TV little thing. It is so cute. I re me and Peyton used it a couple of times when we first got it. But then I put it in the drawer and baby, I didn't touch it again. Cause see, that's one thing about me. I'm going to get something. I'm sometimes I'm like a kid. You know, like when a kid first gets something, they're going to play with it and then put it away. Yeah, that's me. But let me um. Let me um. Hold on. I'm about to see how this gonna work right quick. You uh, it's like this. It's the suction thing. I think I need a new suction, but I'm about to. I'm gonna try it with Gina. So you see how? Oh, this is the back of it. You slide this in here, and I hope it doesn't fall because, like I said, my suction was messing up. And like I said, because I had this for a long time. Just like that. What's up, y'all? We have a video with a hair sponsor. And see, I'm trying to hope it doesn't fall. I'm gonna stand it up. Well, I can do I'm just trying to show y'all so it's being a little bit harder. But it's like this. You'll be able to look through it like a TV. Like it's not, see, I, I knew it was going to fall because I need a new suction, but it's so cute. I'm going to just, I'm going to put it down and let y'all, and show y'all over it. I'm going to hover over it. Y'all can see how good it is. Because like I said, when we first got it, like it was working. I can just buy a new suction because the suctions are um, on Amazon, but we really don't use it. I was just showing you guys something, even like something for your kids to, um, to do. Well, hold on. Let me show you. Okay guys, so I'm about to make the homemade um, whipped cream. You need some heavy whipping cream. I'm just gonna pour enough just to cover the bottom, the whole bowl. And then you need some vanilla, pure vanilla ashwrap, pure vanilla extract. I don't know why I said abstract, but whatever. I don't measure, I just pour it in there. And after you do that, you're gonna add some sugar. I'm gonna add a little bit more and that should do it. Okay, now you get your mixer. You get your mixer right here with your whisk and I'm going to turn it on one set it and I'm going to lean the bowl in like this so all of it can come on this side and you mix for 10 minutes. Ten minutes come from, but I'm about to try it now. Mm. That's good. I'll say do it for three minutes, <laughs> or probably just depending on how much um, heavy whipping cream you use and all that stuff. Because I know my daughter said in their class, I think they did it for like ten minutes, but I did mine for like three, and it's the same. So. We're about to try, I'm gonna show you, um, we're gonna try it with some strawberries. 
Okay, so I'm gonna try it with the strawberry. Here is the strawberry. With a dirty leaf falling off. But here is the strawberry. And here's a bowl of the whipped cream. Mm-hmm. You definitely can make this with your kids by yourself. This is good. This is really good. I highly recommend. All it is is heavy whipping cream, some pure vanilla extract, and sugar. Whisk it for about three or four minutes. Voila. I think Peyton want to say something. Mm-hmm. I know this thing is Fine here. Huh? Come to be the camera. It's so quick and easy to make. Like my mom said, for like three minutes and stuff like that. I think we made for like 10 minutes to make it like thick and stuff. It is so good. Like, mm, it is delicious. All right, you guys. I'll see y'all in the morning. See you. Hey, you guys. Um, Happy Friday. It is Friday. I am currently, if you can hear, I'm washing clothes right now. And you guys see my pictures in the back? Like, I absolutely love them. They don't look crooked now. I think they're pretty straight from my eyes. But I absolutely love them. Quick and easy DIY. But today is Friday. Um, Like I said, right now, I'm doing laundry. I'm probably about to eat me uh, some cereal real quick. Because I'm trying to, like, do things in this house. Because um, I'll be going home tomorrow because me and my cousins were having a um uh we we invited some other people but it's like we the one who came up with it um a friends a friends miss so this is our first one i'm excited i will be bringing you guys with me because of course i'm vlogging every day so you guys will be attending that tomorrow as well and um i have to show you i got some lashes uh from Amazon. I hope they're kind of short because I'm trying to find lashes that wouldn't rub up against or like hit my glasses too much. But um, but yeah, but that's really all I'm doing today. I did go walking. I think I uh I'll probably insert a clip before this one. Um, what else? I think that's it. Really, I didn't do anything today. Like I said, I'm just trying to do things around the house before. Oh, tonight um my daughter is participating in um. The after school kit program having a fashion show so she'll be participating in that and also i'm gonna show y'all if i don't know if y'all watch my review on this company with this so um very very affordable like jewelry uh they have jewelry um hair accessories um I'm trying to think what else yeah mostly like the jewelry and it's like rings necklaces bracelets Think anklets, you know, on those lines, um, earrings, I think, and all that stuff. So, yeah. So I'm gonna show y'all. If y'all had watched my review, it was one I was like I was gonna let her have, and then when she got home and I still had my stuff, I didn't put it up. She came and she grabbed that same one, but I'm gonna show y'all which one, or she might end up doing another one. So I'm gonna show y'all which one she might be using, um, in the fashion show tonight. But um, but yeah, and I'm gonna leave the link to the items if i can link it if not i'm going to link the um the site in my description box and my um my coupon code as well but yeah it was so it was so funny how she came home and because i still had the stuff out and she saw it in my room and she was like mama i can have this and i just i laughed before i said yeah i was like i was gonna let you have that like it's so funny how you gravitate towards that one and that's what i was gonna let you have anyway but yeah, I just thought that was funny. But I'm gonna show y'all that in a minute, and I'm gonna show you the lashes once I get back upstairs. But I'm with the um, eat a little bowl of cereal, and then I'm about to get um, back to work upstairs. Okay, you guys. So I made it upstairs, and um, I don't know why I look so I don't know tired or something. I don't know. I'm tired, but I'm not. But anyway, um, finally made it upstairs. I want to show you guys the lashes from Amazon, and I'm gonna link them because they were only what four or something. 
$4.99 for $5. But um, this thing is over it. Look, oh, this didn't come out. So then I can show you like this. But yeah, these are the lashes. Hopefully they're not too long. And sometimes when lashes can look long, and it could be short on you, it could be long on somebody else. It's just all about, does your eyes set in the back of your head? Do your eyes protrude out? You know, all that stuff factors in. That's why like sometimes how lashes may look on, on me may not look the same on you and vice versa. You know, because somebody could be like, oh, I like the way they look on you. But it's all about eye shade, the position of your eye. Like, it's, it's a lot to go into it. But these are look a little short, so I'm going to try them. And like I said, I'm going to link them in the description box. But also, what I was telling you about earlier with the um, jewelry, uh, the company is called Let's Let's In Style. And I think it is so cute. It's a ring that, you know, you can put on this finger and on this finger, and then it'll come across, which I can't fit. If you start a review, you'll know all about the details about the jewelry that I was um, presenting to you guys. But um. But yeah, this is it. She might wear this one. And I thought it was cute. And it was so, like I said, it was just so funny how I was like, oh, I'm going to let Peyton have it because I can't fit it. And then she grabbed it. But this is another one. This is more of a um, a bracelet. It'll be a bracelet on your arm. And then the ring can go on your finger. Hold on, I'm going to show you this way. The ring can go on your finger and then it'll look something like this so she might either do this one or once you know do this one or the other one or she might not do neither because my daughter can be very um up and down sometimes child so she might not even want to do none of them but these were the ones that were the options for um her to put on in her um in the fashion show but i'm <laughs> y'all i went to salsa readers yesterday because i was i had two dollars off and um, if you know anything about sauce readers or if it's sauce readers in your area, they used to do it every visit, you would get $2 off. But I guess they may see that that was a little too much. Um, but now I think you have to have a certain, you got to do a certain amount of visits before you get $2 off, right? And usually if I skim my receipt, it'll show up. But this time I noticed later it was in my email telling me to do the survey, because I was like the survey, um, do the survey and then... You can get the two dollars off so i went to click on it right when i clicked on it it was it was telling me to put in my information for my receipt this is my receipt telling me to put in my information my receipt i knew i remember putting my receipt in the bag because i already scanned it through my fetch awards oh and if you guys don't know about fetch awards i can um leave that link in the description box as well because i also have some receipts i need to do but i already had scanned it through the saucy readers app to get to redeem my points and um i do fetch awards and that's what i do like Either I'll save my receipts and then do them all together for Fetch Awards or sometimes I'll do them right then and there. And that's usually what I do with the Salsa Readers um, one because it's already right there. I'm eating, do it. The bag is right there where my um, food was in. Put it in the trash, right? In the bag. So the thing, I was like, dang, I didn't dump my trash yet. I had to, um, you ever, I mean, it's my trash. I mean, I know what was in there. But still, you ever had to put your hand in your in your your let me put if it's like your trash can not nobody else want yours um in your trash can to try to get something and something wet touches you i almost about to throw up thinking about it y'all i almost wanted to cut my arm off at the wrist because i i literally had to hurry up because this hand had got something on it and i used this thing because the bag was open Grab it out the bag. It was nothing on there because it was like I said, it was safe in the bag. Grab that out the bag on my left hand and then go and wash my hand. But in that, just the two seconds seemed like I feel like I wanted to cut my hand off. Like it just my hand, it felt different at all. It was crazy. But let me know if you guys ever experienced that. But I'm a um link these lashes down. I'm a link um let's install in the description box with my coupon code, and I'm gonna link my future wars. So if you guys have not signed up for Fetch Awards, you can sign up and use my code and you will instantly get money um, added onto your account. So, well, points that will turn into money onto your account. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to come and share that with y'all right quick because I need to um, be finished up with work. And I'm also sitting here watching um, Ruka. So, 
And I saw like, oh, another thing I saw yesterday when Gina dropped, um, Gina Janine here, she dropped her vlog and she was like, she's doing 12 days of Christmas. And I was like, Girl, I'm doing 12 days of Vlogmas and I'm dropping my first video today. I'm like, great mind sticks. They're like, I know she, she really my friend. You guys i am back home i'm going to insert a few clips of the um fashion show program thing it was like because they had like little um the little the younger kids are like little uh what were they doing i think some gumballs something and then they had either fashion or ugly Christmas sweater and then the football team and then the cheerleading team from the other thing I showed y'all some weeks ago that she um, participated in. They came out as well at the end, but it was cute. It was cute and it was short too. It was probably maybe 30 minutes. <laughs> um, they got through that real quick, but it was, it was cute. You know, just give the kids something to participate in and all that stuff and have a little fun. But I really, really enjoyed it. And um, she did not wear any of those rings. And, and I told y'all, I know my baby. But she didn't wear any of those rings. Um, but yeah. Um, and I didn't get a picture. All I get is the video that I'm going to insert. Because sometimes we're rushing, man. I, and that's why sometimes we don't really like be able to take pictures sometimes. Because we're always rushing. Like, it's crazy. But, um, but yeah, but that's... Um, that's kind of all I did today. Um, straighten up in the house. Like I said, tomorrow I'm going to take you guys with me to my first friend's miss that I'm excited about. So, I'm trying to... When I be pausing, like I'm be trying to think. Um, um, I like these red nails too. Like They're real short and thing. Like I don't know when I'm going to get my nails done. But I probably am. But just... Probably not right now because I, I really love these things. And I love short nails because I want to be able to ball my face. Ball my face. Ball my fist up just in case. You never know. Keep shut up. You know? You never know. So, um, yeah. Yeah, so this is the end of the vlog. If you've gotten to the end of the vlog and you are new here, please, please, please consider subscribing. If you are returning, thank you so much for keep coming back and watching me. On the road to 5K. Um, yeah, I'm going to see you guys in the morning. Because I'm going to have to go home early in the morning. So. I'm going to pick y'all up in the morning. Y'all have a good night.